Hi, it's Mary, Queen MOV. Talk to me Tuesday, Quattro de Mayo, 2021. And again, I'm working on too many things to show you, but I'll sh give you the top four. First, you know, I had to design a mug rug for my friend in, in um, Colorado. And so I have made two blocks so far. This is a teacup. This is a teapot. Here is its handle. Here is its spout. These will go basically like this on the mug rug. And down here will be two tea bags. And up here will be embroidered um, words. Happiness is sharing a cup of tea with a friend. And that's, that's, this is, fabrics are kind of weird. The fabrics, she is very traditional. She's into like, um, the, um, it's not tea berries. What are the, what are the old berries? Fabrics and patterns, um, bumbleberry, something like that. She's, she's really into that sort of thing. Tiny prints, flowers, very traditional piecing. Loves log cabins. Um, bear claws and so I when I do things for her or show her things I always try to go like way out of her comfort zone so these are um, Stonehenge fabrics except for this one and um, except for these two I guess and um, it's going to be pretty modern so and, and she appreciates other stuff it's just not what she it's not in her comfort zone when she quilts so the second thing is, um, you know, my black and white quilt that looks basically like this. I have the next four borders on. I mean, four, four pieces for the border three. So I have border two on, which is a one inch white strip. And then this is border. That was border two. This is border three. And it is the same as border two, except it's narrower and longer, and the cornerstones are smaller. So these are ready to go on there as soon as I get some little pieces off and decide to, I'm ready to put on long stitches. Um, so that's going to be, after this one, there's one more border, and it's different. So um, that's coming along very nicely. Then there's... Um, I'm doing a quilt along that I signed up for last year at my favorite quilt shop in Minnesota. It's in Perm, Minnesota, called Bay Window Quilt Shop. If you ever get up to that area, um, it's about 30, 45 minutes north of my farm, and it is a fabulous, fabulous little quilt shop. Anyway, I, I missed their quilt along last year, so I signed up this year, and I, it's so different. You know, I'm used to, a Phantom and Stitches we use, like, every week we're doing something at, um, in the EQA classes I'm taking, it's three times a week, and this is a monthly, and so, basically, um, We got through, I guess, March with fabric requirements and such, and I bought these fabrics from our Michelle, and basically I bought um, four fabrics from her because it's a mystery, and it's four fabrics and then a coordinating fabric, and it's a quarter of a yard. So... Until I know if this is going to be a 16 inch square in the middle where I can just go crazy big or if it's going to be tiny little pieces where any any design on a fabric that's that's interesting um, will be cut up and lost, then I'm not going to buy that fabric. And we haven't gotten to that clue yet. So step one was for April. We got it at the very beginning of April. And basically, I have these two fabrics. 
for some reason I just stopped recording. I don't know how I offended my camera. I bought these and um, when you look at the fabric big, these are two very, very different fabrics. But what happens is they use the same palette and so some of them are pretty similar. So I am, see, so I am really hoping that um, I didn't, I didn't realize they were going to just be this small and um, right next to each other. So step one for April was to make, I don't remember how many of these, 40 something, it's either 44 or 48, but these um, two and a half squares sewn together and that was step one. And then, and two fabrics, and then I just got um, yesterday the next step two for May and it uses the other two fabrics and we make eight of these um, square and squares four and a half inches each so I am uh, caught up so step three I guess will come at the end of May and it's fun it's easy it's fast but um, I'm glad I'm not overly curious about what the mystery is because it's slower than I'm used to so but absolutely no pressure because if you don't get it done in a while you got a month so then the fourth thing I want to show you I think I told you that I'm making a wedding quilt this year I've never made one and um, I'll be designing it from the design to the I'm, I'm doing the design of the quilt piecing design of the quilting pattern and quilting so um, and honestly it's going to be queen size I ordered the fabric for it and I haven't finished designing it but I'm comfortable with that so here's what I decided I got these three fabrics one is a blue with a gold, not metallic, just gold flower leaf thing on it, about that big. Got another blue, matching blue, not too matching, with a gold bee on it, like a honey bee. And then the third fabric is, it's not ticking, but it's quilting fabric printed like ticking in blue and white. So, it's, um, I'm starting with the Bethlehem Star, which is all y, y seams, which I've not done before, although I know I can and proved I could this week. Anyway, um, bef and my fabric comes tomorrow, so I'm going to start cutting and stitching tomorrow on that. Now, I didn't want to, this is a completely untested pattern, um, and I've never made a Bethlehem Star, which is going to be... 36 inches of the middle of it, 36 inch square in the middle is a Bethlehem star. So I didn't want to start cutting and sewing and, and run into problems. So my solution, I, I don't remember if I told you this last week, my solution is to make a baby quilt or wall hanging. I don't know which it's going to turn out to be. So what it did, I did was I cut my pattern in half so that Bethlehem star is 18 inches and I pulled 10 uh, fat quarters so I need 10 because the big one hopefully I can finish in three fabrics I don't know if I can it's going to depend on all I've done right now is the center and, and the first border it's going to depend on what the rest of it looks like whether I can do that in three pieces although I'm designing it and can make it where it can be in three colors, well, I just don't know yet because it's it's kind of not telling me where it's going from here. So anyway, I started with my fat quarters, and I need ten of them because there's not enough in a fat quarter to do this in three colors. So I started with an 18 inch. I'll show you a picture of this, but at the end, but um, I started with an 18 inch Bethlehem star, and that's it. Um, Way too many white seams. I think it would be easier when it's bigger. And then the border, for the border what I did, first border, is I took these shapes 
and I put them into the border like this house shape. I just made it narrower and made it put it up here and then the diamonds actually cut into triangles because I, did, I didn't want to do any more icings and I really don't want to after I do a 36 inch Bethlehem star I'm really not going to want to do any more icings so I made this in um, paper piecing I cheated on the corners because I don't need paper piecing for that on each block anyway these are four and a half inch blocks and I put them around like that and so, so far I'm liking it. It's pretty. And when I put this in um, EQ8 with my fabric colors for the wedding quilt, it's really pretty. So um, that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to try to keep this test one um, just a, at least a step ahead of the... the um, wedding one so that I can just go into that with a little more confidence so anyway um, that's those are the four top things I've been working on but cruising along with all of my others as we go so I look forward to seeing what you're doing and here I'm going to show you a picture of the um, well you just saw it the Bethlehem star one so anyway talk to you later bye